Welcome back, chemistry students. As you know, I'm Ms. Rashar, and today I'm joined by Agent Positive 007 and Agent Negative 007. And today we're going to be looking at um, how we can illustrate and write out reduction and oxidation. So we use this term redox, just a shorthand way of saying reduction and oxidation. Um, we're going to be looking today at ionic compounds, which as you recall are those compounds formed between uh, positive and negative ions. So those negative ions, those anions, those are going to be formed by reduction. Now I'm going to make that happen. And then our positive ions, or our cations, those are going to be formed by oxidation. And I will make that happen. And we're going to use a very basic looking uh, chemical reaction to help us illustrate this. The reaction between sodium and chloride to form sodium chloride. So when we look at the reaction of sodium with chlorine, um, sodium is undergoing the process of oxidation. Sodium has just one valence electron in its outer shell. If we add some ionization energy to sodium, we can get it to kick out its one valence electron. That Losing that valence electron is oxidation that's going to make a positively charged cation. And at the same time, you have chlorine with seven valence electrons really energized, looking to get uh, one more electron. And with sodium nearby, giving that electron away, chlorine snatches that up, releases a certain amount of energy. You recall it's called the electron affinity. And um, chlorine absorbs that electron and becomes a chloride anion. We have, when we put the whole reaction together of sodium and chlorine, we have one element that is being oxidized, and again, that's our uh, sodium. And when that happens, we have to call it also a reducing agent because it's providing the electrons for the reduction to occur in the chlorine. Okay. We also have the element that's being reduced. Again, a reduction is occurring in that chlorine. We're gaining an electron in that case. And so we call that chlorine also our oxidizing agent because that chlorine is giving a new home to that lost electron. It's taking in the electron that was given up by the sodium. We're a very good spy team. So cor <laughs> corro corrosion is caused by oxidation. Uh, when metals corrode, whether it's uh, the fenders on your car because of uh, you know rusting, that's oxidation, we talked about that earlier. It's typically caused by the exposure to oxygen. Uh, oxygen is a great electron gainer, which makes it an oxidizing agent. And you can see that happen in uh, iron rusting or copper oxidizing. We usually say that it's oxidizing. When iron rusts, it changes colors and creates that typical orange rust. When copper rusts or oxidizes, it makes that pale green patina. Uh, that you see on the Statue of Liberty. I believe that is called verdigris. The color? And the process. Okay. Slightly different than our ionic compounds, uh, when we have reduction in oxidation or redox occur in covalent molecules, we have to remember that there's no true loss or gain of electrons. Because remember, in a covalent compound or molecule, they're sharing those electrons together. So then the electronegativity comes into play. Um, if something's more electronegative, um, so for example our fluorine, it's going to have a partial gain of that electron. And then the less electronegative element that it bonds with is going to have a partial loss of our electron. And what that's going to form is uh, what we call a polar covalent bond where uh, the electron doesn't truly move over to the shell of um, the nonmetal or the more electronegative nonmetal, but it hangs out in the electron cloud of the uh, nonmetal with the higher electronegativity, as opposed to what happens in an ionic compound where the electrons are actually moving from the metal to the nonmetal. We're already foreshadowing a little bit of what's coming up in Chapter 8. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we hope you have figured out Agent Positive 007. Agent Negative 007. And what we're in charge of. Make sure you respond to your homework.